Welcome, parents. I'm so happy that you could be here. My name is Miss Natalie Griever, or just Miss Griever, um, and I'm your student's Algebra One teacher this year. Uh, and the front uh, side here, I just have my contact information, so my email, as well as my phone number at the school with my extension. The best way to get in contact with me would be through email. Um, that's the fastest way to get a response, but uh, you're always more than welcome to call as well. So just jumping right in, our math class norms and, uh, are what I discuss with the students on our first day. You know, we'll help and support others. My class is really collaborative. We talk a lot, um, do group work, so um, that's important. We also want to make sure we're completing original work. Um, I know in the past years we've had some issues with students using, you know, different apps like PhotoMath, which is an app where you can take a picture of the problem and it does it for you. Um, so just stressing to them that you know, the homework is to practice the skills so that um, you can do well with that on the test. So making sure that we're doing our own original work, coming to class ready with all of the proper materials, and then being respectful of others and then my classroom materials. So speaking of materials that they'll need to bring to class, uh, here's the list that I give the students as well on the first day. So first thing that is the most important thing for them to bring is the notebook that I provide. And so here's an example of the notebook that we're currently working in. As you can see, it's chapters one, two, and three. Um, so I give them a notebook for the certain chapters that we're currently working in. Um, and that notebook includes all of the notes for those chapters, as well as some of our homework assignments. So it's extremely important that they bring that every day. I do keep extra copies in the class. And there's also um, a blank PDF version in Canvas. They also need to bring pencils and pens, a binder or a folder to organize their materials. I would ask that the binder or folder be just for math specifically and not for all of their classes, um, just so they can stay more organized um, with all the papers that they're going to have. And then another thing that's very important for them to have is a scientific calculator. I would suggest getting this calculator here in the picture, the TI-30XIIS, just because that's a good calculator for Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2. So it'll get them through the next three years. Um, and it does a lot of the different things that we're going to need this year, so like fraction work and things like that. So again, that calculator is the one that I would suggest. You can get it at Target, Walmart, Amazon, different places. Um, but any scientific calculator would work. And then I would encourage the kids to come with a positive attitude and a willingness to try. So a typical day in my class is we'll start with the warm-up uh, bell work activity, which I call DMR. DMR means daily math review. And those are just spiral review um, over previous topics. So we'll do our bell work, we'll discuss that, then we'll typically talk about the previous night's homework and let them ask me any questions they have about that. Then that typically is followed up by our targeted notes in our notebook um, that is centered around the Indiana State Standards. And then from time to time we will do different, you know, activities or group work or review games such as like Jeopardy um, to break up the class a little bit. And then they'll typically always have homework um, whether it's in Math Excel, which is a program I'll talk about in a little bit, or on paper, which would be like in the notebook. Another thing that's important to talk about is my retake policy. So students can retake any chapter test, but in order to retake, they have to complete a couple of things in order to be eligible for that. So in order to retake, they have to have all of their homework assignments turned in by the original test date. So for example, our chapter one test is gonna be this Monday. Um, for my algebra students, and so they would just have to have all of their homework turned in by Monday in order to be eligible for the retake. They also have to discuss their original test with me during SRT or before after school, just because I want to make sure they know what they did wrong on the first test before they complete a retake. And then thirdly, they just have to be an active participant in class. Um, and so that would just be, you know, making sure that they're engaged, following along with the notes, completing in class work, um, and things along those lines. Another important uh, point to talk about with retakes is that the max score on a retake is an 80%. So um, really a student would only want to retake a test if they originally scored below an 80% because the cap or the max that they can get on the retake is 80%. For late work policy, I accept all homework assignments uh, for late for full credit. So they can basically turn it in up until you know the last day of the semester for full credit. The only thing with that is just remind you that, you know, like I said on the previous slide, in order to retake, they have to have all of their homework turned in by the day of the test. So really, I just stress the students, you know, try and have that test date be, you know, in your mind as the actual due date for all of your homework assignments so that you're always eligible to complete retakes if need be. Um, and for paper homework, they need to show all of their work to receive full points. This uh, semester is broken down into two categories. So 
30% of their grade is formative work, which is like your homework, your in-class work, DMR quizzes, which are like bell work uh, quizzes. And then summative makes up a, the majority of their grade and that's 70%. And that is the chapter quizzes and the chapter test. So Canvas is where I post my course info with a module with an agenda for each day and different resources. Um, and so I'll just quickly exit out of this and show you that. So if you go into my Algebra 1 Canvas module, I'll go to student view here for you. The front page just has, you know, like a little paragraph, a little couple notes about navigation. And then there's three important links there. The contact me page just has a little bit of information about me as well as my email and my phone number. If you click on class resources, that will bring you to important class resources like my syllabus, uh, a blank copy of that notebook like I was talking about earlier, as well as homework guides for each chapter. So each chapter I give the students a homework guide um, with you know when each homework assignment is gonna be due as well as when the test and like quiz dates will be. So all of that is given to them at the very beginning of the chapter and there's a copy there for them as well. Then if you are on the homepage and you go to the learning modules, and you click that, that will also bring you to modules, but it will bring you to the current module that we're working on. So if your student has me on blue day, then that would be like the 26th. If they have me on a gold day, that would be the 27th. This is especially important for if your student is absent, the dates are listed there. So they can click the agenda. If your student was absent today, for example, and they're a blue student, they could see, okay, on the blue day, which was Thursday the 26th, these were the learning targets that they covered. This is what they did in class. And then this was the homework assignment. So if your student is ever absent, they can check the date at the top and then complete the work within that module. Something else I want to point out for if your student is ever absent or if they just want to use um, you know, additional tools to support them is myself and another teacher last year created several videos for each topic that we cover in class. So if your student's ever absent, they can always go over here to this link on the side that's called YouTube Videos Notes and click that. And then if they open up that link, it will bring them to a Google Doc that says Miss Grievers YouTube Videos. And they can scroll down and so like currently we're in chapter one and today for example is day six and the day six matches the module number so if you remember a second ago when i clicked on that module it was the day six module so they could go to day six uh lesson here and then watch all of these videos now the videos it seems like there's a lot which there is but it's just because each video only covers a couple of problems within the notes so they're only you know, sometimes two to eight minutes long each video. And the video is just Mrs. DeFelice, which is another teacher, or myself, um, going through the notes in the notebook, just like we would in class. So you, the students, if they're absent, can watch the videos, and it's like they really didn't miss class because they're covering the notes just like we did in person. So that's a really helpful tool there in my Canvas course. Math Excel is a website that I use for online homework. Not all of our homework will be online. Some of it, like I said, will be in the notebook. But when we do online homework, they'll do it in Math Excel. And we've already created accounts so your students know how to log into that. Um, and it has just some different tools that are helpful uh, within that for them to use, such as, you know, there's a tool that says, like, help me solve this, and it will walk them through the, through the problem step by step. Other helpful tools um, during SSRT, I do have a peer tutor who comes in. She is a um, upperclassman who comes in and tutors or helps students one-on-one -on -one or in small group with any skills that they're struggling with. So that person is always available for your student. If, you, if they feel like they're struggling with an idea, you can send them to me. They can talk about it with me or with my peer tutor um, who is available to them. And I'm also available to ever discuss, you know, issues or content with students before or after school by appointment. So they just need to let me know um, when works for them. Um, and that's all about my class. So thank you so much for watching and for coming to the open house. I hope you learned some more about how my Algebra 1 class runs. And then again, the quickest way to get in contact with me is through my email. Thanks.